Cindy Williams? Mm-hmm. All right, we'll do Cindy Williams, too. There's a bunch of these, but we're going to try to move on a little bit. But uncomfortable uh, moment with Cindy Williams, who played, uh, what's her name on that show? Uh, uh, Shirley. On Laverne. Shirley, Shirley. Feeney. Yeah, well, Laverne was more the dikey one. Yes. And Shirley Feeney was the one who was kind of quiet and prissy. But it turned out that uh, the big ragu would come in, mm -hmm. and uh, she only liked, if he were unshowered, <laughs> to straddle her face and throat fuck her. Shirley Feeney <laughs> loved being throat fucked <laughs> by the big ragu after a bike ride. Because his asshole was notoriously knotted and hairy. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. He would sing rags to riches and punch her in the face while she blew him. <laughs> <laughs> must have been must have been a lost episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't remember that yeah, one. Yeah, she'd go two knuckles deep in his fucking <laughs> guinea keister. <laughs> <laughs> big rag. Yeah, the big uh, rag. Go. Uh, you dump in her fucking mouth. Oh yeah, he would he would actually hold her neck and and throat fuck her, and then come all over Laverne DeFazio's sweaters. <laughs> he was actually asked to leave the house one time because he wiped his asshole with the L on her sweater. <laughs> In a fit of rage. And uh, one uh, very, uh, I don't know if it's a coincidence or something, he made an exact duplicate of the L in cum as he just <laughs> spewed it. <laughs> <laughs> and then they went to the pizza place and he took a shit in Mr. DeFazio's pizza dough. They had to close the restaurant down because of health code violations. <laughs> the health inspectors found feces in his pizza dough. <laughs> Because the big ragu <laughs> yeah. took a big hairy shit. Well, the big ragu took a fucking uh, a hangover shit, <laughs> a watery hangover shit, in Mr. DeFazio's pizza dough. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. That's how it went down, huh? Yeah, it wasn't even yeah. a solid one that Mr. D, Mr. D could go in there and ladle out. Yeah. It was a fucking liquidy one that got baked in a five or six pies. <laughs> People were getting sick. Somebody finally recognized corn and peanuts. Like, Wait a minute. <laughs> and some big ragu ass hair. <laughs> there was some curly ass hair <laughs> with a fucking W. The Wrangler thing came off his jeans as he was shitting. <laughs> uh, you could shit that bad that you lose the logo off your jeans, Jimmy. Well, yeah. Well, you know what it was too. Yeah. They they also found yeah. in the in the outside of the dough, they found two heel prints, like he had squatted and shit, but two his, his heels went in the corner of the dough, <laughs> and somebody went, "Say, hey, there's heel prints in my pizza." And they knew it was the big rag whose shoes. Be. Yeah, he's always huffing and dancing. So yeah, they they knew because he had those big uh, those fucking lips, oh. those heels. <laughs> Well, yeah. now at least we know what happened. That's right. And remember Shirley, that episode where she had to go because uh, she had, uh, who'd they work for? Shots. Remember she was doing that party trick and she got a shots bottle in her gun <laughs> and then Fonzie kicked her and broke it? <laughs> <laughs> she was doing the put the beer bottle in the cunt trick and, and then fucking Fonzie was practicing his Taekwondo and he kicked her right, kicked her right up in her, her fucking bunt and broke the bottle in her snatch. That was an ugly one. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl, I'm, uh, she said, I'm, I'm bleeding from the baby maker. How do you not remember that? <laughs> you not remember that? From broken, a uh, broken shots bottle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when yeah, Fonzie I remember that kicked. one. Like, hey. Fonzie kicked. Yeah. yeah, it was right after the hey. shark jumping episode. I'm gonna kick in the cunt. <laughs> And that was it. Yeah. After that wonderful setup from Jimmy, uh, reminding us of some of the great uh, Laverne Shirley episodes, here's Cindy Williams. So uh, what have you been up to, Cindy? Nothing, as you know. Because otherwise, why would I be in Has Been Corner? Oh, wow. Why did we jump right to this yeah. part? Yeah. Iraq, explain yourself. Because... Come in here so we can make fun of you. <laughs> Come on in here, buddy. <laughs> Good. Hello, e Rock. How are you? Hey, didn't Good. you used to be in an exercise commercial, Body by Cake? <laughs> <laughs> okay, first fat joke out of the way. <laughs> um, no, you, you started the bit by introducing Has Been Corner, 
And she accused you of stealing it from Andy Kaufman. You said yes. Which I was, because the, the beauty of Has Been Corner with Cindy Williams, I'm a huge Andy Kaufman fan. She was on Has Been Corner when, when, um, when uh, the great uh, Mr. Kaufman did it. Well, that first. And now you fast forward, and that that time is a bitch. Now she's a has been, but at the time she was laughing her ass off as Andy Kaufman was making someone right. very uncomfortable as he was doing it. That yeah. first part was um, was just a little banter back and forth, but this is where it really started to uh, get start. depressing for her. Yeah. Okay. It got a little too real for her. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, what have you been up to, this, Cindy? Nothing, as you know. Be otherwise, why would I be in Has Been Corner? Well, you were on uh, Laverne and Shirley, obviously, the beloved Shirley Feeney. Beloved. On Laverne and Shirley. Beloved. And then after that, there was... um. <laughs> what was that? Oh, after that. shit. Wow, that oh, is, I forgot about that. That's brilliant from the Anthony. Deafening man. silence. And then there was... <laughs> That time you, yeah. Listen to this, man. This I forgot about this. Shirley Feeney on Laverne and Shirley, and then after that, there was um. <laughs> what was that? After that, there was two kids. Oh, the two kids got in the way. Yeah. That's gonna be your excuse. Well, I do you resent them? <laughs> do you? Res <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> That's going to be your excuse? Wow, this is just vicious. Uh, we were really mean back then. I love it. God, I love it. After that. There were two kids. Oh, the two kids got in the way? Yeah. That's going to be your excuse? Well, I Do you resent them? <laughs> Do you resent totally. them for that? Totally. Because you were... Totally, you're... but not as much as I'm resenting you two right now. No. What? This is all fun, right? So, uh, Cindy, seriously, what have you been uh, doing in the last uh, 20 Nothing. Days? Nothing. <laughs> um, okay. So, like I said, Laverne and Shirley, then... Nothing. <laughs> Ooh, was she mad? Oh. <laughs> Laverne and Shirley, and then nothing. You know how That's huge... Real. You know how huge that Laverne and Shirley show was... Back in the day, yeah, and she was in American Graffiti before well, that, right? It was a big drop off show. after that. She the... was in a movie called The Conversation too, with Gene Hackman, directed by uh, Coppola, I believe. Mm. Little picture with Gene Hackman, directed really? by Coppola, and Robert Duvall. I believe she killed Robert Duvall in it, or had him killed. Oh, really? Hold on, yeah. a movie, little movie, you know, 1974. <laughs> I'm guessing. Let's say hi to Dano in Kentucky, Dano. Good morning, bubble boy. Good morning, Dad. How's Jack Lord? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Jeannie. Thank you. Hey, I got a question. Um, is a bunt and a gunt the same thing as a fupa? Uh, yeah, pretty yeah. much. Mm -hmm. okay. They're all that mushy fat area above the clit yeah. and below the chin. Fupa. <laughs> you, you boys know what that stands for, right? What? Fupa, it's you know it's all the flesh right? around a vagina. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, Punch it out, boys. Have a good morning. All right. And by the way, did, um, just